Okay, we're still. All right. <laughs> uh, Jojo from Isle Split here with Reed Brown, Foot Locker Nationals champion. How does that feel? Oh my God, it's just unbelievable. I can't even like, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It's just, I never thought I would be up here and then here I am. It's just awesome experience to be out here with these guys in a big race like this. Can you take us through the race from the start? Pretty much from the start. First 400 went out really slow, I think. Uh, and then Seth started getting out in front and I was like, oh no. Here goes Seth again, because I know how he races. He's one of the strong, definitely one of the strongest runners in the nation. So I kind of moved to the front of that and just stuck about five, ten meters behind him the whole race, and uh, just tried to hang on to the front up there with him and Finn. And uh, I knew I always have like pretty good kick at the end, so I figured that if I just stuck on them until the last 400, 800, then I would have a pretty good shot to win it. And you've been in a lot of competitive races, but you know you, you didn't even win your state beat. Yeah. <laughs> well, was it strategic? Were you kind of waiting for nationals to really get after it? Uh, not really. Um, Texas is just really good this year. Uh, they had a really good race out at the state meet, and I, they just beat me. Uh, it happens to everyone. But it's, it does feel kind of weird coming fourth at state and then winning a national meet. That's probably hasn't happened too many times before. So I'm just really excited to be here. Did, did you always stay confident that you could come out and, and be a national champion? Yeah, definitely. With the competition down in Texas, I knew I wasn't going to win every single race because if you just have one little bit of offness, it doesn't even have to be a bad race, just not like your best, you're probably not going to win with the competition down there. So. Uh, I, really, I kept my uh, um, momentum and just kind of stayed confident up here knowing that just because I don't win state meet doesn't mean I can't do something special up here. And you mentioned your calf pain a couple days ago. Uh, does that bother you at all today? Uh, no, I took a lot of Advil right before this race just to make sure it wasn't there. I didn't feel it this morning or during the warm-up, so I think it just kind of dealt with itself over the past couple of days, so I felt pretty good out there. You kept your composure after the downhill, um, and then you fought back. Tell us how you felt there. Oh, that downhill really takes a lot out of you. Seems like whenever you're going downhill, you can kind of relax and let it let your body come back to you but no that one's just it's so steep you're you have no control over your body it kind of takes more out of you than what it gives back so and what did you tell yourself right before the finish because you had a great finish okay well I, I like I said I always seem to have like a always have something left in the tank and so I just knew if I got up there I'd, uh, I'd be a sprint for the finish so where had you told yourself you were going to be before the race? Did you like have a, a dream or a goal? Of, did you want to be top five? Did, were you hoping to win? Um, well, yeah, I think a ton of people's goals here were to win, but uh, I mean, I would have been happy with like a top three finish based off how I felt the past couple of days, but coming out with a win is definitely something special. Hey, congratulations. What did you say was you take an Advil for what? Uh, my calf, and my car door slammed on it a couple of days ago, and but it, it healed up quickly, so that was good. Uh, the announcers went on about uh, you know going after sub four mile in the spring. Is that going to be the next thing on your mind? Yes, definitely. That's uh, definitely my biggest goal during track to to see how fast I can go on the mile. I think I really haven't hit my potential yet, and my coach is definitely going to get that out of me with my workouts this spring. So, uh, 404. Full mile. Yeah. All right. So following Drew Hunter, Footlocker champ, looking at sub four coming up. Congratulations. Thank you.